This is going to be showing some of the tools that I use to get apart stuff that's hard to get apart, like little reach-in cases. I hate to be brand specific, but Cobalt, which doesn't sponsor us unfortunately, but they can, they can if they want to now, is the only one I know of that makes this. This is a ratcheting magnetic wrench. I don't have a drill bit laying around right now, but you can actually put in like driver bits that are really small and get into really tight spaces. It's quarter inch drive, right? Quarter inch drive on this side, five sixteenths on this. So if you're just taking out those fasteners, it's nice because you won't lose them, but you can put like a Phillips tip in there or whatever else you may need to get into a really tight spot. The little uh, propeller fans on reach-in condensers are always a pain to get off of the unit. Also, little wrenches like this to get in tight spaces, obviously it's much smaller than, and, than any adjustable wrench you're gonna try to use. I like using these double open-ended ones because you usually can't get the box end on anyway. So I have these in various sizes. I keep the common ones in my bag. I got a whole set of these actually up to inch and five eighths and all the metric ones too. So let's see what, what other gadgets we have here. Always good to keep a magnetic parts tray so you don't lose all those stupid little screws. And then of course some drivers for the drill. This right angle attachment. Oh. So that, that comes in handy a lot. The only problem is is it kind of free spins in the drill. So if you're not on anything, it might it can free spin the whole attachment if you're not holding it. What but about like flexi bits? Do you ever use those? I haven't really ever gotten into flexi bits because I mean usually you need like a complete 90 degree. If it's like at an angle, I'll usually just use like a really long extension. Like I got this extension, I got this extension. I've had to put extensions together. And something too, if you're trying to clean something in a tight space, this is a, another thing I got at Lowe's. Home Depot carries a different style, but this is the Quick Connect style. So you can put it in here, or you can put this in an extension, preferably a locking extension, which I have a longer locking extension, just not with me right today. That's a pretty stiff brush, so what would you clean with that? Copper. Usually you're gonna clean copper to braise, but it might be really in between some stuff. And I've honestly not used sand cloth in years. You can clean like pipe threads with it too. That's pretty much it. I keep little deep sockets for fan motors. I see people use their adjustable wrench at an angle all the time, you know. I like to make my life easy and just do it with a drill. So I have the adapter to put these in the drill for when you're doing motors. Do you, um, so it seems like you keep just pretty much just the stuff that you'll use. You don't have like any big kits or anything. I have the big sets if I really, if, you're, if I really need the other stuff. But once I, you know, found myself using the same one over and over again, I just bought extra of that specific one or just took a couple out of the kit and keep it in the tool bag. If I need the rest of the kit or something else from the kit, I'll bring the rest of the kit, but you yeah, know, just the, the, get the bag. but that's, that's pretty much the extent of it. You know, this is kind of cool. I just got this. It's the multi. So it works good as like a backup. We have all the different sizes on there. So actually it goes up to like nine sixteenths. Okay, nice. It's come in handy a few times, especially on like blower motor belly bands. You can get this on there and it'll stay on other than like, you know, trying to do it with two wrenches. You could put this on one side, socket on the other and just pull it right off. AC eight and one. Yeah, I love this thing. I mean, of course you got your quarter and then five sixteenths, which is both magnetic. This is three eighths. And then you have core remover or some locking caps, thermostat sized. And then of course, just a Phillips flathead. Is that what it's, what is that the name of, they call it the HVAC eight and one? Yeah. You I'm probably sure can't read one. it. I really like these pliers too, because they have a crimper and they have the wire strippers and their needle nose. So it takes up less space in the bag. I'm not a big fan of carrying more stuff. If I can get a bunch of stuff done with one tool, why would I want to carry three separate ones in the bag? I mean, sometimes it is annoying to use these and I have regular wire strippers. Occasionally they come in handy, but most of the time I can just get it done with so you, I were, have. you were saying um, that you that you put your testo uh, probes at the carrier. Yeah, hold on, I'll here. I'll grab them. Yeah, just keep them in the case with a nine sixteenths. I got charging T. I got just a ninety degree on this because it fits pretty much every condenser that way. I got another charging T if I need to remove a little bit of charge, and then I just got a five sixteenths elbow adapter because usually the elbow is the one I need. Yeah, I can either clip it on here, or that's another reason I like to wear carpenter pants is because I can clip it on here. If I'm climbing a, like a ladder to a roof and all I'm doing is, you know, checking that, or I can clip my meter on, or both, 
<laughs> yeah, it is. It, it does kind of rattle a little bit, but it's better than dragging this whole thing to a roof when you when you know that you don't need to do major surgery to a unit. But that's pretty much it. I mean, everything else in there is pretty basic. Just the uh, okay. pliers. They need oil. They had them at Johnstone one day when I lost my channel lock brand of the same size. I do like these better. There's a lot finer adjustments. I thought of when I bought them, they were like 30 or 40 bucks. A little on the high side, but they do make nice tools. Mm -hmm.